My name is Tom Lipstock, and I'm a Dubuque Fighting Saints fan. And I had doodled around before with customizing action figures. And I do not expect anything from anybody. I don't expect, I, you know, not even a thank you. You know, just a smile, and that's all I need. One day I was out at the mall and we were in one of the stores and there was some hockey figures there. And I had doodled around before with customizing action figures and things like that. And I said, I wonder if I could take this and, and paint it and, and design it and make it look like a Saints figure. Talked with my wife, we started making another player and then another player and pretty soon I had done the whole team after, uh, over the course of the season, made a figure for every player. I've done it every season since. This is my sixth year doing it. Average about 25 figures per season. Process, start to finish, starts with getting on Amazon or one of the websites and trying to locate figures. Once they come in, I tear open the package, grab some white paint or some red paint, and I start literally slopping it on the figure. While I'm doing that, I will also go over to the computer and I will start grabbing pictures. Put together what I want to be the background and then I'll start pasting the pictures onto the background with a little bit of a drop shadow behind them to give them kind of a 3D effect. Anybody who's into computers and graphic design is probably looking at this going, what type of archaic software is he using? I'm using Paint Shop Pro to uh, 7, which is probably about 10 to 12 years old. In the meantime, the next night will roll around, the paint's dry, and then I'll start putting the stripes on. All right, so with the stripes, I do a lot of guesswork. Try to lay it down first, get an idea about where I want the stripe to go. Sometimes I'll let the stripe end like it's tucked underneath the shirt. And once I have that, now it's me against my nemesis super glue. I really don't like this stuff. I stick to everything. Maybe with the cameras on me, I'll do a little better with it tonight. All right, there we go. So what I'm doing now is I'm just fastening down the, the decal so it stays put where it needs to be. Now this decal was printed out from the computer using just photo paper. Once all that is on, then I start paint detailing the helmet, and that's really not that hard. Uh, just paint the helmet with a flat coat of red, let that dry, put another flat coat on, and then do the gloss. One of the things when you do models, you have to be patient and let things dry and be all neat. And I haven't got that kind of patience. I will also print out a little picture I'll design, like a, kind of like a, a hockey card. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this picture of Jackson Caster. I'm going to have to resize it a little bit. And then I'm going to take the outline, the white backing here. What I'm going to do is uh, select the whole thing and make the color white transparent. So all I have is the red. And I'm going to carry this border over Jackson just like that. Right about there looks good. And there you have a hockey card. Thursday night I'm putting it all together. I'm, I'm doing the final touch-ups on the paint, um, putting down more glue if I need to for some of the patches, uh, getting the base ready. My favorite part of the process here, which is just putting the final touches together. The figure is, for all intents and purposes, done. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the card. I've glued it now. I've got the front and the back all done. And I'm just going to take the card and let it slide in here to the back of the case. Once the figure's in the case, this will slide on the back like that. So I just put four pieces, one in each corner on that. And once again, I get out my friend, the super glue. All right, here we go. Find out if I drilled the holes correctly in the right spots. That one went in without any problem. And that one went in without any problem. And there he is silly like that when I'm putting him in he's gonna stick really 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 good this is the card that's gonna go on the back of the figure and now it's done all that's left now is to hand it off to the player wow. the main reason I don't ask anything from 
payment of any type is because I want it to be just something I'm giving to them. I don't want anything for it. It's nothing that I do for profit, for anything like that. That would take the fun out of it. How much he cares about every single one of us and how much he cares about this organization and how much this means to him is pretty cool. I'm proud of what my husband does. I think, like I said, he's very talented. He's, um, I, it's amazing what he does with these figures. I enjoy watching him do it. He's very passionate about what he does. None of this stuff happens without the team on the ice. If there's no team, there's no hockey. If there's no hockey, then we don't get to do what we enjoy doing on Friday and Saturday nights. To me, it's a way of giving back and saying thank you. So if you could give a message to these Saints players, what would you tell these guys? Uh, I suppose the first thing I'd tell them is that what they do on the ice, uh, it goes beyond just making the plays and hearing the cheers of the crowd and everything that they actually affect the people that they're playing for. For my wife and I, they've given us a place to go and work off the stress and to make some very, very good friends and to be social and just kind of let loose. For other people, they're inspiring kids to, instead of sitting home playing video games, they're inspiring them to go out and play and maybe have a dream of doing what they do someday. We appreciate what they do. It's not always the wins and losses, so that would be my message to them.